In the previous lecture, we examined how we can use a convex or a converging corrective lens to fix a condition of the eye known as farsightness. Now let's examine how we can use corrective lenses to fix a condition known as nearsightness. Now nearsightness or myopia can be caused by either one of two things. So either the eyeball is too short or the lens of the eye has a relaxed focal length that is simply too long. So if either one of these things is satisfied, the person has myopia and that basically means the rays of light entering the eye converge at a point that is found in front of our retina and that means to fix such a condition the person can use a corrective lens that is concave or diverging. A diverging corrective lens will essentially diverge our point right onto the retina and the person will be able to focus in on objects that are found very far away. So people with this condition can see objects very well that are close by but cannot see objects that are far away and one way to fix this is once again by using a corrective lens that is concave or diverging now suppose a certain person has a far point of 100 centimeters and a near point of 15 centimeters so if the distance from the eye's lens to the retina is given to be 2.3 centimeters, in part A, find the range of focal length values that the lens of the eye can have without any corrective lens. And in part B, what focal length should a diverging contact lens have to view objects that are infinitely far away. And let's also find the power of such contact lenses. So let's begin with part A. So in part A, we essentially want to find the maximum focal length of our lens of the eye and then find the minimum focal length of the lens of the eye. Remember, the ciliary muscles connected to the lens of the eye are capable of in increasing or decreasing the curvature of the lens of the eye, thereby increasing or decreasing the focal length of our eye. So that's exactly what we want to explore in part A. We want to find the range of focal length values of the lens of the eye. So let's begin by finding the maximum focal length. Now we're going to apply the thin lens equation. Remember, the lens of the eye is a convex thin lens. So, 1 divided by the maximum focal length is equal to, well, to find the maximum focal length, we place the object exactly at the far point. So the object distance is the far point distance, while the image distance is simply the distance between the lens of the eye and the retina of the eye. So, we know that this quantity is 2.3 centimeters and this quantity is 100 centimeters. So, according to the thin lens equation, 1 divided by 2.3 centimeters plus 1 divided by 100 centimeters gives us 1 divided by the maximum focal length. Now, if we add and solve for this quantity, the maximum focal length is equal to about 2.25 centimeters. Now, what about the minimum focal length? To find the minimum focal length, we essentially have to take our object and place that object exactly at the near point. So, once again, we apply our thin lens equation, but instead of using the far point for the object distance, we're using the near point. We're placing the object exactly at the near point. So, this quantity becomes 15 centimeters. So, 1 divided by 2.3 plus 1 divided by 15, we add that and solve, and we get the minimum focal length is about 
2.00 centimeters. So that basically means our focal length varies from this quantity to about this quantity. Now, let's move on to part B. Now let's suppose we want to put on a diverging contact lens so that it will help us see objects an infinite distance away. So what focal length should a diverging contact lens have to view far away objects clearly and what is the power? So once again we want to apply the thin lens equation. 1 divided by the focal length of such a diverging contact lens is equal to 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. Now the object distance is assumed to be infinity. So this is infinity. And what our divergent contact lens does is essentially it takes the object and creates the object that is found an infinite distance away. It creates an image and places that image exactly at the far point. And the far point is 100 centimeters according to this information. Now, we put a negative sign because whenever the image is found on the same side as where the light originates, the image is negative. So, 1 divided by negative 100 centimeters plus 1 divided by infinite amount of centimeters, this goes to zero and we see that the focal length is equal to negative 100 centimeters. So, Notice the negative simply means we're dealing with a diverging and not a converging contact lens. Now to find the power, we simply say power is equal to 1 divided by the focal length given in meters. Now 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So P is equal to 1 divided by negative 1 meter and that gives us negative 1.0 meters to the negative 1. So this is the power of our contact lens. This is the focal length of our contact lens.